This video is going to look at the App Crawler website, and this is the app discovery engine that you can use to find apps for your iPhone and your iPad, and even works for uh, Windows phones, um, Android phones, and devices. So it's a, an app crawler for a whole lot of different devices. And the first thing you need to do is actually filter out only those devices that you want to search for. So I want to search for anything on the iPad and iPhone because I have both. The home page of App Crawler will give you some genres or some current popular things. So if you're wanting to look for apps that kill boredom, well, here's a collection that they put together that you can look at and show the filters. This is another way that you can now filter out what you want to look for. Now, this is a, an, an app for discovering apps. If you know the name of an app, then you go straight to the App Store and search for it and download it. But if you're just looking for things, if I'm looking for uh, puzzle games that are quite new to the um, App Store that I've sort of missed, then I can use these filters to find some new ones. And so on the sort by, it's sorting by total download, so I'm going to leave that, but I want to look for in-app purchases, no. So I've clicked that and I'm waiting for it to refresh itself. And then I'm looking for puzzle games. So I can click that, wait for it to, uh, to refresh itself. And you can click down here for more, so you get more topics. So I might be looking for apps that don't have any in-app purchases. I don't mind if I have to pay for the app. I just don't want to have to buy pay for anything additional and these are all the different types of, of, of um, puzzle games so if I was looking for um, physics games I can click that wait for the page to refresh itself and now it's starting to give me some results and I can keep going further so do you want it for kids or select more these are all the different audiences so if you're looking for something for no, a cat loving, a cat loving puzzle game. That's a physics game. We can you can filter those out. Um, I'm going to leave audience for now. Helps me. Maybe kill time or start my day. I can click that one. Start my day. Try and filter it a bit more. It only gives you one there. Deselect that one. And let's just go with these. So it gives you some groups of things. So there's a whole lot of um, physics puzzle games for families for the ages 10 to 12, etc. Or it just gives you some specific ones here that you can go and look for. It's got ads in it. So it's an ad supported site. So be careful you don't go anywhere near the ads because that's, it'll open it up. All I've done is just go over it, hover over it, and then it's open. So I can go through all these different apps here to, to look for ones that I think might be useful. I'm going to click and, and open. Now there's more pages of them, so if there's nothing there, I can just click 2 to go to page 2. None of these apps are relatively new, so they could have been there for quite some time, but you just haven't been able to find them in the App Store. Fantastic contraption. So if I wanted that one, it's a paid app. If I hover over it, I can see some reviews. And there's more like that one. And if I click it to open it, it then takes me to that page where I can read a little bit more about it. Now I can look at similar apps for the different platforms. How many stars? So it's got 4.2, so it's a popular app with thinkers. Four and a half stars, total number of reviews. And you can break that down just by hovering over it. Some more reviews for, that other people have, have uh, given it. Positive, 80% positive. There's some minor problems with it, major problems with it. Alternatives to it. So there's a, way, a whole lot of ways you can explore new apps. Now I'm looking at this on the computer, this site, App Crawler. But I could also go to App Crawler dot com using safari directly on the ipad which would make it a more efficient process about finding it on the ipad then going straight into the app store now if i wanted to download it click on download and it's taking me to itunes 
but it's also going through the US App Store. So as I'm in Australia, uh, if I want to buy this one, it's going to tell me that it's the wrong store and offer to change it to the US store. So you, you need to, to go to, to the iTunes store of the country that you're in to purchase this and download it. It's gone to the US App Store. Now I should be going to the AUS Australian App Store for in order for me to buy this. Right click it and try and get around it that way. Right click it and then I can open the link, copy the link or open the link in a new window and that will again still just open up the App Store but I need the Australian App Store. So what I need to do is go into my iPad. So I'm on my iPad, I'm going to go into the App Store and search for Fantastic Contraption. And if it comes up with nothing, Fantastic Contraption 2, so perhaps it's an iPhone app, iPhone only. Let's pick that other one, Fantastic Contraption, iPhone only. And you can see it's more money because it's $1.99 in the US store, but in the Australian store it's $2.49. That's the one there on the left. And it's an iPhone app. So if I wanted to buy it, I would buy it from the app store from my iPad rather than clicking any links. There is a problem with using this in Safari but I'd still rather use it on my iPad than my computer. And if you haven't got a computer, then you have no choice. So let's try a different browser. So if you've never used another browser, Chrome is a browser that you could download. And if you haven't got it, just go into the App Store and search for Chrome and download it. You can see up on the top left, that's it there. So I'm going to open my Chrome browser, new tab, and searching for App Crawler. So App Crawler, tap Go, and that gives me the Google results for that search. So I can tap that page, and that's giving me the desktop version, same version as I had on the computer, which is what I want, because it has all the filters. It's got the categories. It's a much better one to do. So if I Show filters and let's pick a different one. I want a one of free. So I've tapped it and I've got to wait for it to refresh itself. And I want a puzzle game. Just tap the more there. There's all the different types of categories. So it doesn't have to be games, it can be something in productivity. So let's pick something else. Um, I'm going to pick something in productivity. So I'm waiting for it to refresh itself. And now you've got the topics of productivity. So if I tap more, do I want a other alternative web browsers or would I like some um, better note taking? Tap note taking. And now I can go a bit further by tapping the more under helps you. What do I want to do? Do I want to annotate a PDF or record a lecture? or just stay organized or track everything. So I think I'd like to record lectures. So I'm tapping that. And now it's filtering those apps just on that criteria. The more filters you put in, the less results you get. These are the ones that it's given me that are note taking, uh, that are free and will help me record lectures. So if I wanted to pick one, so if I picked audio note light, note that anything that has a light on it, is a free version of the paid app. So there'll be an Audio Note paid app, and Audio Note Lite will give you limited use, or it has some sort of restriction on it. Maybe it's ad supported, or it has a watermark. So if I open that, and that again will give me all of the information about it, the reviews, any alternatives. So there's a lot more there that you could find. Again, if I go to download, so I'm gonna tap the download, uh, immediately it says to me that you, you are not in the US store. So I don't want to change the store. You really need to stay with the store of your country. So I've got to cancel that one and so back into the app store and search for good notes. 
We'll just do search. There's a good notes for there now, which is free, which I've already had, but it's because it, because it's got an open, and I can down, download it from here. And there's also other ones that are similar. So once you get to one, now we've got diff, uh, similar apps that then might be useful. So I think for for using this particular um, search engine app crawler, your your best bet is to search for it in Chrome. On your iPad because that's going to give you the original home page just like the desktop version if I want to go back at all if you tap that tap the actual name of the app and it'll get you back to the home page where you can start another search so in this lesson we looked at how you use the app discovery engine called app crawler